Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta channel, which is the build 20631.2. 2115. This build from the beta channel doesn't bring any new big features from the version 23H2, which is the next Windows 11 version, but instead it improves and fixes the existing features that Microsoft is testing on the beta channel. I think that is great. Microsoft is making sure that everything is good to go in order to release more and more features and updates to the beta, then to the release preview channel, and in the end to the main release. And in this video, of course, we're going to talk about what is improved in this build. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video of course first of all make sure to check out the article below for more info about the beta channel and why there are two different builds that are releasing to the beta channel related to the narrator app narrator users who interact with traditional chinese characters are now able to do this with confidence while using narrator and the ime candidate window in windows if you're interested in more info about this you can check out the article below in the video's description this update addresses a issue that affects certain CPUs, there is inconsistent reporting of the L2 cache. Also, this update affects user mode printer drivers, they unload unexpectedly. This occurs when you print from multiple print queues to the same printer driver. This update also addresses an issue that affects hybrid joint devices, you cannot sign into them if they are not connected to the internet. This occurs when you use a Windows Hello for business pin or biometric credentials, this issue applies to a cloud trust deployment. This update addresses an issue that affects certain display and audio devices, they are missing after your system resumes from sleep and also this update should make brightness settings more accurate. This update addresses an issue in the Windows notification platform. The issue affects how much power your device uses. Windows Defender Firewall Profile is also fixed when it fails to automatically switch from a LAN that is trusted to a public network. And related to widgets, this update addresses an issue that affects widgets. They unpin from the taskbar when you do not expect it. And these are basically the main fixes and improvements in this build. Of course, you can check out the whole list in the article below in the video's description if you're interested in that. And of course, there are a few known issues in this build. For example, there is a known issue related to the file explorer, and there are reports that Explorer.exe is crashing on the login screen with an error pop-up when attempting to enter safe mode. And also, there is a known issue where the context menu sometimes would be transparent when you right-click on the file explorer. So these are things that Microsoft is working on improving and fixing, of course. And if you want to see the whole list of known issues, make sure to check out the article below in the video's description. So this was pretty much the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.